Good morning, folks. Today we're going to see a place having an incredible dry run of the extreme weather we can all expect in the coming years. We've got other choice selections from the science world, starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on the sun were calm. The primary motions are a development of the trailing coronal hole extension. The sunspot continues to grow as it heads for the western limb on the north. It is also worth noting the continued stretching of plasma filaments. It's the sun's version of what we all do before we get out of bed, in its case, for the sunspot maximum coming the next four years. Let's go to a new interactive map that has the colors of the river. They are constantly changing due to runoff and algae and rain amount, worth checking out your local waterways for the information. This one is a quick nod to everyone who remembers the inflow and outflow streams at galactic scale and how we said this was part of the interuniversal highway which at large scale is called the cosmic web. Keck and NASA found the macro scale spiral shape. Here's the inflow curve closer in matching the magnetic field bend we see in other systems. The record for the largest early galaxy cluster is broken. This one, 12.5 billion light years away, is spread across a span of space with lots of stuff in the way, but identifying the faintest returns yielded the conclusion that they all must be part of the same family, making the largest such family of early galaxies. Quick aesthetic shot to get the last of the space cadetry out of our heads here as NGC 4826 is imaged by Hubble. Interestingly, they are thinking the inner gas and outer gas of the galaxy are rotating in opposite directions. Now, let's step down to Earth for a new identification of the correlation between atmospheric electricity and ENSO, that's El Nino and La Nina. This one is on the feedback of ENSO on the atmospheric charge, which is first driven by the energetic input into that system. And speaking of energy in the atmosphere, this gorgeous blue jet and sprite in Hawaii is an excellent lead-in to the icing on the frozen weather cake Texas just had. Parts of the state went from negative 2 to 80 degrees plus in a few days, and the energy change and shift in the system created unreal lightning Thursday night, starting numerous house fires in an area that had just about had enough of Mother Nature already. By the way, that was Go's geocolor, and this is the lightning overlay on Go's 16. Lightning is the best way to track the ongoing Earth changes, especially with the magnetic field in the process of shifting. We have seen numerous records in the lightning realm set the last few years, and this is going to continue to get worse as the magnetic field weakens. And speaking of worse, it was just days ago we mentioned that the Brunt Ice Shelf was on the brink, and now a large piece has broken off. If they had not moved the Hadley Station down there a few years back, it might now be afloat too into the ocean off the coast of Antarctica. The British Antarctic Survey said this was not a climate change event, and they are sort of right. It was not due to global warming, but it is certainly a climate change event. We have been going over how important these polar dynamics are to our planet's delicate balance in the interglacial warm stage. If not for everything we've been discussing and seeing in the journals the last few years, this wouldn't be much of a story. But we know that melting at the poles triggers an ice age. The record melt is ongoing and let's continue to just add chunks of ice into that mix. The heat transport is weakening and ready to shut down, like in the movie The Day After Tomorrow, just not quite as fast as Hollywood portrayed. And folks, we are still awaiting the full release of the Beaufort Gyre. When that cold climate bomb eventually goes off in the north, there is no turning back. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out our latest project, ObserverRanch.com, a place where we'll be able to come together in a relevant setting. Help us make it happen and get rewards from permanent memorialization to shout outs in these morning news shows. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.